For all my OG Counter-Strike players out there, if you've ever tried to customize your config, chances are you're gonna recognize this map, Crash's View Model Generator. Cause right here, without having to know all the commands, you could simply shoot at these signs here to adjust your view model however you wanted it to be. You could adjust your FOV, and you could even switch between right hand and left hand super easily. There was also this one too that allowed you to switch around your crosshair or, you know, edit your crosshair super, super easily. And while you could always pick from one of the pro crosshairs here or one of like the defaults that was common for people to be using, you could fully customize it over here again without having to know any of the commands. What made these maps really annoying though was that there was no way you could do it all in one map. Like if you wanted to fully customize your config, edit everything all in one place, you would have to know each and every single one of the commands to be able to type into your in-game console. But now for CS2, the creator of those maps has made an all new version of it where you can basically make your entire custom config all in one place by simply shooting at things on the map. I'll leave a link to the workshop map page in the description below. So once you guys click on that, all you got to do is log in with Steam and then click that green subscribe button and it's as easy as that to get it to show up in your game and once you do that you just want to click the map and then click go when you load into the map this is basically all it's going to be you're basically going to be in this dome here with eight different control boxes around you and then these like this like bot section right here i'll come back to this in a second but if we go over here to the config generator part of this this is where everything gets really cool obviously first things first you still have your pro player config so if you shoot at this you have all of the teams showing up up here which is super nice and then depending on which one you pick you have the five five individual players on that team showing up here. So for example, if I wanted to use Monacy's config, for example, I can just shoot at this and you'll notice instantly my HUD changes color, my crosshair changes to his crosshair, my view model changes to what his view model is, and it even puts the res that he uses in the all chat if you want, if you're curious to use that too. Now, like I said, they have this for pretty much every single pro team that plays in Counter-Strike right now. You can go through all of these and see any of the players. But if I shoot this home button, that'll take you back home. And you can see there's also this community section here. This is new. This wasn't on the other maps in CSGO. And if you shoot this, you can actually use the configs for Onipixel, Mr. Maxim, Stewie 2K, Trulux even. There's not too many to pick from here, but this is still really cool that they have this. They even have two more tabs up here called Legends and Donators. So if you shoot at Legends, you've got obviously some Counter-Strike Legends right here. You can copy their configs. And then I'm guessing Donators is people who've donated to the map that you can copy as well. I don't know why you'd want to copy these guys though. Of course, shooting home again is going to take you back to that home screen. And say you're all happy with the config that you picked, you can simply just shoot, save and exit, and it'll save it all and exit the map for you. Real quickly before i continue on with the rest of the video i need to pay for food and rent so let me give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor skins monkey skins monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with counter-strike skins say you want to upgrade some of your current skins to get something better this would be the perfect site to do that with you can also straight up buy skins too and with their 35 percent deposit bonus plus my code it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with there's even free giveaways you can enter and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site get started with a free five dollars using my link in the description below all right with that out of the way and coming back here, let's say you, let's, let's, let's take an example here. Let's say you want to use OniPixel's loadout. He's got this crosshair right here, for example, right? But say you don't like that. Say you maybe want to change the color or something. You can come over here to this board. I don't even know what you would call this. And there you can change the style, the size, the thickness, the gap, the outline, alpha, dot, T shape, and color. Most importantly, this is the one that I wanted to adjust. I specifically wanted to make this red. It's the same as the settings that are already in the game, but instead of having to like adjust the values individually, you can just shoot at this, which is kind of nice. Now, say you're happy with the crosshair, but maybe not the view model. You can come right to this window right next to it to adjust the offset of the X, Y, and Z values of your view model along with the FOV. So say I want to make my view model a little bit lower. I could take the Z and set it to like negative 1.5, negative 2. I think it was already there to be honest. Or if I want to make it even higher, I could set it up to the max of 2. God, that looks weird. You guys kind of get the idea there. And then you can even save presets if you want or reset back to the default up there if you like the default. Another thing to keep in mind, if you guys mess up any settings or you want to revert back to what you had before you started changing all these settings, you can simply come back over to this big screen here go home and click restore config don't be surprised it will restart the map but it will reset everything that you've done back to where it was before you started basically back to this though besides crosshair and view model now if you also want to adjust your radar you can do that here you've got the size the zoom the icon size and then whether you want it rotated or centered and along with that you also have hud settings here which is super super cool you can see right now my hud the amount of money i have my damage the amount of bullets i have etc it's all white but if i wanted to make it blue i can just shoot at the blue color or if i wanted to make it red red's my personal favorite i'd make, i'd just do that of course you also got the scale the horizontal gap vertical gap team as numbers friendly fire warning show target id player colors on team id and then brightness
this too. Like I was saying, this is basically all those maps that we used to use in CSGO to do all this stuff in one. Plus there's even extras here. Like we never had the HUD color stuff before. So that's a really, really nice addition. I will mention as well on the other side here, you have these recommended settings you can apply if you want. You have some binds here to toggle crosshair color, grenade crosshair, and toggle radar zoom. And then their Discord server if you want to join that. But nah, mine's better. Lastly too, before I forget about it, if you turn around, you've got this bot area over here, right? You have a few adjustments here where you can add or remove bots if that's what you want to do. As well as if they move and if there's walls too. That's kind of cool. But the whole point of this thing right here is for you to be able to test your crosshair and your view model, I guess. Uh, it's kind of straightforward. I mean, this is like a normal bot map but just smaller. They got a background here you can adjust to if you want to test your crosshair color out on different backgrounds too, which is nice. Anyways, though, that's about going to wrap up this video. If you did make it this far, definitely make sure you guys drop a like and of course, subscribe if you're new. And if you do have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. I'm always looking at those. But uh, yeah, now whatever video is showing on your screen, the YouTube algorithm thinks you might like. So do me a favor and go check it out.